Archibab is the ideal place for finding old Babylonian primary sources and secondary literature. This is a project hosted at the Collège de France, with more information on the developers and contributors to be found when you first open the website. First, the default language option is French, but one can also choose English in the top right hand corner, and most functions are available in both languages. In the following, we will lead you through the most important functions, especially the various search functions that are available. For further information, spelling conventions, and process primary sources up to date, check out the PDFs in the top right hand corner that will provide further guidance for each section. The most important pages to get started with are bibliography and texts. Under bibliography, one can find secondary literature on the Old Babylonian period. The first option offers the classic search, search by author, title, year or journal. Don't miss out to tick the box which will list book reviews with books you search for. These reviews can provide important information to contextualize a book's content, especially of copy-only publications such as the YOS series. Thus, for example, if you search for YOS 13 and tick the box, you get the publications together with its many reviews. The second option offers more specialized queries. For example, you can search for publications of primary sources from provenance excavations by site, for example, Ur, or those publications published in a specific range of years. A little tip, if you search for the time span 1880 to 2019, you will receive a full bibliography of primary source publications up to date. Note that this function only lists secondary literature containing publications of primary sources, excluding discussions without any primary source additions. Now, the main function of Archibab is that of a repository of digital transliterations and often translations for you to consult. Under text, you can thus search for individual text by publication number. or museum number. If you want a whole volume of texts, enter just the publication and all the text will be listed. For research purposes, perhaps the most important benefits of Archibab are its various search functions. The creators have tagged the processed text so that you can search for specific dates, words, archives, or even for specific professions. The next four tabs offer you to search for different groups of text, either those texts that can be found in the same museum collection, the archive they came from, or by the date they were issued, up to the day. The best way to search for specific archives is to click on Display List and find the archive you need. The next function also offers you to limit the corpus by certain parameters. You can, for example, search only for adoption contracts by choosing permanent contracts and then as a subgenre search for adoption contracts. If you want to refine your search even further, you can search, for example, for rationalists in Mari. Just try out different combinations. In the next window, you can search for words in summary lines, translations or notes. This can be very helpful when you want to search for a specific topic. Beware that while the search function is in English, many text editions are entirely in French, so that you should always search for words in both languages. For example, English gardener, and French jardinier. While the previous window offered you the option to search for words in modern languages, the next one gives you the option to search either for Akkadian words or for sequences of signs in the available corpus. This is especially helpful if you want to find attestations of specific words, for example, andurarum. Remember that French astrology rides a circumflex instead of a macron for normal length. 
This tab can also be used for prosopographical research, as you can also search for specific names in different documents, for example Ali Abusha. You can also search for a specific chain of signs in the transliteration, for example Ish Shah. Finally, you can even search for specific other categories, for example specific clauses in contracts or different professions. Again, you note that the categories are listed in French. This function is also available in most of the other tabs by clicking Limit the search to within this corpus. This can be incredibly helpful if you want to know how a specific word is used in contracts from a specific town, for example. Under seals, you can enter various data to search the seal legends, for example by seal owner, by his patronym, or even individual signs from a seal legend. Under year names, you find a list of year names, including Assyrian eponyms, that you can limit to specific dynasties or even kings. You can either list them, or you can search for specific signs in the transliteration or in the translation, for example, Alam. This helps incredibly when you deal with a broken year name and only have a couple of signs. This search function is case sensitive. With all these search functions, bear in mind the limitation of both the current state of research and the information that is contained on the tablets. The reconstruction of old Babylonian archives is still work in progress, and you will thus not find all archives that might have existed, and not all sources can be grouped in the available archives. But Archibab is as comprehensive as possible. Finally, Archibab itself is still a work in progress, and not all old Babylonian sources are released and searchable yet.